All right, so today we're going to look at a CR paradox question. Um, as always, I had to redact certain portions of it because of copyright, so go ahead and just look in the description box. You can click the link to the question on GMAT Club, read the full question stem, and come back when you're ready. So paradox questions are kind of fun. So most people call them um, discrepancy, explain the discrepancy questions. They often have uh, those two vocabulary words, not always, but often in the question stem. Here, though, it's a little less obvious because they, the way they word the stem, which again with CR is always where you should start, right? That's our little step one. Uh, which of the following, if true, most helps to explain why Suncorp has been pursuing the less profitable of the two economic activities? So the language here helps to explain, right? That's kind of the clue that we're looking at a paradox or discrepancy question. So we're trying to explain something um, that, well, doesn't seem to make logical sense. In these kind of uh, questions, there'll be a scenario that's described and there'll be something about it that seems illogical or there'll be two things that are irreconcilable. So your job is to figure out what is that, what, what is that thing that doesn't logically make sense? And then the correct answer is going to justify it. So here in the question stem, they're saying, we need to understand uh, why Suncorp has been pursuing the less profitable of two activities, right? So if I was to rephrase this, I'd be saying something like, you know, why, um, why are they doing something that's gonna bring in less profit, right? You know, when they have a choice, why? That seems very odd, right? Um, if I was just thinking of this without even looking at the question stem, two things that might come to mind is, well, if you have two options and you're pursuing the one that's less profitable, um, there's probably only you know two reasons why you would do that, right? Either it's maybe less profitable short term, but maybe there are long term profitability benefits, right? So maybe you'd get more money long term. Um, or there's something um, wrong, let's say, with the one that's more profitable. Maybe it's more profitable, but you know the other choice, maybe the other option, is let's say um, hazardous. You know, it's very dangerous. Um, people get injured. There's loss of life, etc. Right. So just kind of generally the structure of these kind of arguments. It's nice to kind of brainstorm a little bit before you get into the specifics, but let's get into the specifics now. All right, so Suncor has been clearing large sections of the Amazon for cattle ranching. Um, I don't know if I'd make a note of that. You know, if I was, I might just write like CR, cattle ranching. That's kind of what, they, what they're doing this for. Um, practice continues, even though greater profits could be made from rubber tapping. All right, so this is our choice, right? So why are they choosing the one that is making the least money? So essentially, why are they choosing cattle ranching, right? When they could be making more money from um, rubber rubber tapping. Um, and so the question that we have here is, uh, uh, sorry, this practice continues, even though greater profits can be made from rubber tapping than from cattle ranching. And I know I redacted a good amount of it, but nothing too essential. So essentially, basically, it must be that there are some long-term benefits to cattle ranching, like we said. So cattle ranching has perhaps unforeseen long-term financial benefits, or maybe um, rubber tapping has downfalls. You know, rubber tapping, there's something bad about it. You know, it's, it's maybe more profitable, but it's hazardous, or it's like inconvenient. Um, there's got to be something about it that makes makes us want to overlook its profitability. Uh, so great. So I would say either of those two tracks could be the correct answer. You know, something about the long term profitability of cattle ranching or a negative aspect of rubber tapping. Just to even clarify that more simpler, I want I want something negative about rubber tapping or I want something maybe that shows that there's like a long-term benefit to cattle ranching. So that could be a nice, concise prediction. And now we're very ready to look at those answer choices. A, uh, the soil of the Amazon's very rich in nutrients that are important in grazing lands, right? Okay, fine, but like, that's not really telling me a long-term benefit of cattle ranching. It's, you know, we don't even know if Suncourt cares about like, you know, 
the land itself. Like maybe, you know, some course seems to only care really about profits, like any corporation, ooh, dig on corporations there. Um, but you know, obviously they, they're beholden to their shareholders, they're here to make profits, so why they would care about, you know, the grazing lands, it's irrelevant. Uh, B, cattle ranching located in tropical climates more profitable than cattle ranching located in cold weather. Okay, fine. It's like saying that basically the Amazon cattle ranching is more profitable than let's say if you tried to open a cattle ranch in, Ant in Antarctica, which is great, but it's not explaining what the paradox or the discrepancy is, which is why are they choosing cattle ranching instead of rubber tapping? And again, just to get meta with it, if B is the right answer, why then did they even have this sentence about rubber tapping? Like what would have been the point of even mentioning that? So if um, rubber tapping is not gonna be part of the correct answer, it doesn't make sense why it's not even mentioned in the passage. So that's another aspect about A that we could have used to eliminate it. C says in certain districts, profits from cattle ranching are more heavily taxed than profits from other industry. Okay, well that just seems like that cattle ranching is like a really bad idea. Right? So it's not explaining why they're choosing cattle ranching. It's just like, here's another bad thing about cattle ranching. Um, C would be tempting if you got confused about what your job was here and like what exactly was the question stem requiring you to do. Because C is, you know, vaguely on topic. D, some of the cattle that are raised on land cleared in the Amazon are killed by wildcats. Um, that's very sad for the cattle, but doesn't relate at all to the argument. Uh, and then E says, the amount of money required to begin rubber tapping is twice as high as the amount needed to begin a ranch, right? Ding, 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 ding. That's exactly what we want. Um, a downside for rubber tapping. So that is the paradox question. This is a great question. I would say this is just an easier level question. But hopefully uh, some of this scratch work inspires you a little bit to work a little harder uh, when you do your own CR. If you have any questions about this particular question or CR strategy in general, feel free to ask them in the comments below.